Steve Rossi here, doing a shut up, Steve. Well, we'll get to that. You know what I was, uh, there's a clubhouse with a pool, and um, there were a lot of people in the pool. I went to go in, like, for the first time, and I realized there's a lot of people in it, and it's not a deep pool. It's five foot. So most people are standing there talking uh, or, you know, just waiting. No one, barely is anyone underwater. And I'm just seeing, like, 25 people in this pool of water, and they're up to their waist. And it just, I know, I, I've always said I have a, I'm a disgustophobe. I get, I'm not a germaphobe. Disgusting things just get to me. And that is just a butt soup. That pool, I used to go to the Astoria pool. It's gigantic. I think it's bigger than an Olympic pool. It's at least as big. And uh, you can jump over it in Grand Theft Auto and, uh, and, and uh, feel good about yourself or you got points for it. It's in there. And I used to go in that pool with like 200 people. And I'd just be part of a giant butt soup and I'd be miserable. I might never want up my own volition. Someone was always saying, let's go to the pool. To, I just Let's go in the shower. You want to go, oh, I just can't get over a pool now. Now that it's in those terms, it's just a butt soup. It's disgusting. Oh. And God help the kids underwater. Just butts everywhere. Simmering. It's it's just a disgusting thought. You know what else I was, blah. You know what else I was thinking is that rappers are kind of selfish. They really uh like if a rapper will do a rap, he'll rap his lyrics and then in the middle or in between there'll be a refrain, usually another rapper. Uh, maybe another featuring another rapper. Like the big example of this was I was listening to Coolio and LV sing Gangster's Paradise on the Howard Stern show. And Coolio raps his part. And then LV starts singing the refrain. Been living most our life. Many people aren't familiar with the term douche chill. But you should be because that, that, that's me right now. That's me. Douche chill. I understand the rapper thing isn't funny. I understand it. But there's something to it, interrupting constantly, and I'll get to it one day and flush it out. Okay? You know, a lot of the best stuff comes just before I start recording. That's what will motivate me to record. I'm like in a zone talking to myself or writing, and uh, I'm like, no, this has got to be recorded. But by the time I turn it on, hit record and everything, the rapper thing is shit. Let's face it. That's, that's, that's just shit. So, you know, by the time I... But I had it. I had it ten minutes ago. I swear, the funniest stuff or the best ideas that turn into jokes are right before I ever hit record. I swear. Scout's honor. I was never a scout. I don't know what the symbol for scout's honor is. I, I did a really fruity thing here. Are you a scout? What is, what, what's the point of that? Or just a, like bonding? A bonding uh, clubhouse type thing? The only thing I can think of good about scouts is a pocket knife. I don't even know if you get one, but I, I would assume if you're a scout, you get to have a knife. But I guess anyone can carry a knife. So. Saying prayers in the street. <laughs> Been spending most of our life living in the gangster's paradise. 92.3 Coolio MC. Howard Stern in the house. Been spending most of our life. Gangsters. <laughs> Just calm it. Calm it down. We need a shut up Coolio moment. That's why this is shut up, Steve. I realize how ridiculous this is. Just shut up, Steve. But no, you got to keep going. You got to keep going. That's where the good stuff is. I'm the diamond in the dirt that ain't been found. I'm quoting rappers left and right. How long can I keep a porcelain Christmas tree up? You know those tiny little trees with the little cool lights that look really cool? Ugh. I wish there was a hand around to slap me when I need to be slapped. I, I, my attention deficit, my deficiency in attention, my deficiency in attention. I wish there was spanking in school when I was growing up. I would have been spanked all the time in front of everyone. I would have been, I, would, I wonder who would have been spanked them. That is interesting. Would they spank the girls in front of the boys and vice versa? Like, would you cry? I'd just keep going, yeah, baby. Or, uh, you know, just asking for more. Harder, you know, uh, I, I definitely. Like, like I say, the masochistic slave. If I, uh, in a dream scenario, if I was a slave, I, uh, I would pretend that the whip, I would ask the request that if the, I'm going to be whipped, I'd request that the master whip the tip of my cock, and every time he did, I'd just shriek out in delight as best I could. 
to frustrate him. But that's if I were a slave. The closest I've ever been to a slave is a caddy at a private country club where they treat you like dog shit. I quit during the 16th hole when I was caddying for some golf pro. He was a pro who like, kept throwing his clubs, and then I just threw his clubs and left. That was my last day of caddying. Uh, oddly enough, I still wore a plastic hat after that, but it was my last day of caddying. Caddying was my first job, and then I became a carny immediately. As soon as my uncle knew I was old enough to have a job, he hired me for his carnival business. And I was ridiculed widely through high school for being a carny. They wanted me to put that on my soccer jersey. That was a very funny thing to them, because Austin Powers had a little ditty where he talked about carnies. And um, I did that for a long time. I got to hire all my friends, and it was a blast until the thing got stolen, which I'm sure I've talked about in many podcasts before. I'm sure you're exhausted of that topic. Here goes Steve talking about carnivals again. On all the carnivals I worked, I never really heard that. It's usually just blasting rap music. Whatever happened to it? Whatever happened to it? Everything's got to be a blast now. Are you ready to rock? No. Y'all ready for this? No, not yet. I, I get to the circus six hours early. I'm not quite situated yet. Y'all ready for this? That's when I want to play the moment before my first prostate exam. Y'all ready for this? Oh, my mouth didn't have any water in it, so that was a dry prostate sound. Y'all ready for this? That's the sound I was going for. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I'm going to give you an example of what I'm um, talking about in just some rap song. I hope it sounds okay. Uh, because it's played off of another speaker. Now, usually I don't do this, but, uh, he rarely does this. Go ahead on, break them off with a little previews of the remix. Oh. I'm not trying to be rude, but hey, pretty girl, I'm feeling you. The I think this is the remix edition to the song about pissing. That's why I'm all up in your grill, trying to get you to a hotel. Westside, Coolio and LV, 92.3, How It's Turned with the Flow MC. Let me get that. What? I, I missed that. I said Coolio and LV, the line 2.3 LC with the flow on the MC. What the shit am I watching? What happened to us? We're human beings and this is what we did with it. 